What is up with some African Americans showing racism towards Asians? Being a part of a persecuted race sex or class does not immunize you from being an asshole. Take it from an African American himself. A lot of African Americans are not nice people. Racism exists. Never going away as long as there are races to have a comparison against. Everyone has biases, including yourself. Whether it be race, gender, age, whatever. Your actions on the other hand can be controlled and openly expressing these negative tendencies should be avoided. Humans are tribal beings. Stupidity and ignorance doesn't discriminate. You ever heard about Korean versus Black? Los Angeles riots? It happened in early 1990s and it kind of set the relations for these groups until now. Black Americans don't expect much resistance or consequences from their racism toward Asian Americans. The conflict between Asians and Black American is pretty complex and there are multiple reasons as to why there's conflict between the two. One reason is the economic competition between Asians and Black Americans. America adopts a zero-sum way of thinking and when Asians more prevalent Koreans came to America. They were well educated and somewhat well off in their home country but coming to America were subjected to becoming small business owners to make a profit. These businesses were only approved in low socioeconomic areas, primarily occupied by black Americans. So when Asians came into these primarily black communities with their own businesses, it caused bitterness towards Asians because it is statistically harder for black Americans to start businesses. Couple that with the media portrayal of black Americans. It caused Asians to be at most racist and at the least wary towards black Americans. Couple that with the increased crime rate in low socioeconomic. This further perpetrated the ideology Asians had towards black Americans. Of course there are more reasons and nuances towards the conflict between the two but I always considered the conflict as a bitterness towards one another rather than a pure hatred. To actually answer OP's question. For many years Jews were the mostly likely people to run shops bodegas in black communities. Think parts of Atlanta or the Bronx and black folks somewhat resented the Jews being in their neighborhood. And, of course, there was sometimes tension if the shop owner caught a popular neighborhood kid shoplifting, or decided to stop issuing credit, or whatever. Starting in the mid-1970s, Jews started selling these stores. They found willing buyers and new arrivals to the U.S. Koreans. Koreans were often very rigid in how they ran their businesses and were often perceived as downright hostile to their black customers. They were often accused of jacking up prices. And if the store sold fresh produce they were often accused of selling dumpster-ready vegetables at Whole Foods prices. It obviously didn't help that in many cases there was a language barrier. Koreans often had family fill in. And in many cases Korean grandparents would make very little effort to learn English. Source. I worked at a cash and carry in downtown Atlanta for eight years. Like any other human endeavor, relationships varied. Some Koreans were super friendly and would say hello to everyone. Some were very quiet and kept to themselves. They possibly just weren't comfortable enough speaking English. Some were downright hostile to black employees or customers. And at least twice a year there'd be a near fist fight. If you don't believe me, there are tons of references to Koreans in late 80s, early 90s hip-hop and stand-up. Also, don't forget that almost any kind of baj shop in California can sell liquor. So lots of black folks, especially in Atlanta in the early 90s, didn't like their community being poisoned by cheap liquor or beer, oft sold by Koreans. 
Despite what you may see or hear on social media, especially Reddit, anyone can be racist. Most of the world is racist Most of the people in the world are racist What is up with some people? Not realizing this? Racism can appear in various forms. It isn't necessarily always coming from whites against blacks. You know? As it turns out, racism isn't exclusive to white people, and all humans are assholes. It goes both ways. Lots of East and Southeast Asians look down on dark complexions in their own race and so for them. Black people are the lowest of the low. Also, in an American context Asians are often the good minority while black PPL are the bad minority. And that causes tension between the races. Don't bother debating who started it. It goes both ways. Racism is a universal poison. Speaking very broadly, AAs as a cohort tend to be heavily urbanized and low SES. Both historically and to the present day, immigrants from Asian countries likewise tend to cluster in similar urban areas and often have come into the US low SES. But as a cohort Asian immigrants, and particularly their children, grandchildren, don't stay that way. Many cohorts of Asian Americans are today among the highest SES in the US. Proximity. Different cultures. Different appearances. And wildly different outcomes. Those are ingredients that, if not managed well, can lead to racial violence. Racists are a type of person, not a color or ethnicity or race. The hatred goes both ways. I think on both sides it stems from negative interactions and looking extremely different from one another. There are bad people in every group. The trick is to notice that they are a minority and to try not to stereotype the whole group based on the actions of a few. That said, if the vast majority of the rest of a group condone the actions of the bad minority, then they deserve a share of the blame for what they do. Anyone can be racist. Everyone's f-king racist Asians. Blacks. Whites. It don't matter. We are all the same. In a sense, tribalism and racism is a hallmark of a high intelligent species on Earth. Some research suggests dolphins are racist does that make it justified? No. Hopefully, humans will evolve out of this phase given some time. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.